Go back into the engine area here and do an update on our 998, now what I'm calling the super small bore. No longer 998, we overboard it severely. And in so doing, move the bores around. We've had an interesting effect here from the look of it. And I just went to some lengths here to ensure side clearance on both sides of the rod. The rod looks off center, but what we've actually done by moving the bores is center the piston in the rod better than it was before. Now the rod's off center down there, and that's why it looks like it's way off. But if you follow the beams, they're actually more down the middle of the pistons because of the way I moved the bores. And of course the crank's offset. So hard to say have we gained anything there, but it could be interesting what it does to the overall balance and um, the way this works. I mentioned 1100 cc. People are going to say, well, if you'd used a 1098 crank, you'd be, you know, 1220. Yeah, uh, those cranks, in my view, especially with the one and three quarter mains, are barely strong enough to make a lamp, a decorative lamp. Um, I just don't like the long stroke engines. You'd have a an way long stroke 1275-ish with a smaller bore um, going that route. Just not appealing at all to me, a long stroke engine like that. Here we kept everything as short as we could, three inch stroke from the 998. Um, the one and three quarter mains, yeah, of course it's not as strong as the 1275, but if we make a nice balanced package that works well and doesn't fight itself, uh, that's been the goal all along. We'll see how this goes here. I'm about to put the uh, transmission on. I've just dialed in. Um, I pulled the screws off now, but uh, I got about five thousandths there or so with the rest of the bolts and such to be installed. This is the actual one out of our green Cooper S. This is a uh, an original Cooper S close ratio gear set. Um, I went through this here, installed a center oil pickup, and ended up changing the lay shaft, some bearings. Freshened it up. This was a really very sweet shifting setup. Elected to run it under the 998. Originally, I had built a, uh, a straight cut box that was immensely strong. Uh, in the meantime, we made some upgrades to our own 1380, which made me think I should put the very strong box under it. This one here um, should work really nicely. 376 final has an LSD unit in it. Um, setting it up with all the, the larger A-plus bearings and everything on this now 1100cc super small bore. Okay, here we go. Even now, this little thing is about as compact a package uh, to drive a vehicle. Look how tall this thing looks from this perspective. It's a funny looking thing, but this is one of the shortest mini combinations possible with the head uh, and the block cut down so far to use the shorter pistons.